They've been without water for five months, and now the Rio Verde Foothills community will have to wait even longer for relief. Today, Governor Katie Hobbs vetoed a bill that would have brought water to that community. Team 12's Chase Golightly took a trip out there to Rio Verde to speak with some of the homeowners about what's next. We have been living on rainwater for 142 days. Extreme measures. But you can't live like that for very long. Is the only way Lee Harris has been able to survive out in the Rio Verde foothills. I pretty much have to, you know, do everything from bottles. Living off the rainwater she's collected and placed in the hundreds of bottles surrounding her home. I can't even wash dishes. I can't take a shower at my own home. She and many others, like Donna Rice, are in the same situation. We're going to keep filling up jugs at friends' houses, flushing the toilets with that water. Going on six months of this, they don't know how much more they can take. It's just really, really not a good way to live. We're tired of this. A bill that landed on Governor Katie Hobbs' desk would have brought some temporary relief to them. Requiring the city of Scottsdale to give the Rio Verde Foothills community water like they had been for decades. But it was vetoed. In a letter, the governor said she vetoed the bill because it failed to provide an immediate solution and would only cause continued delay. But the veto leading to outrage from those living here, including Tammy Poole. I just cannot fathom why a governor, our governor, would veto something so simple. It would have been immediate. It would have been effective. However, both Harris and Rice believe the veto was the right decision. Forcing Scottsdale to take care of us who are county residents, that would set very bad precedents. And you know what? It would just end up back in court, which would kick the can down the road even longer, and we are still without water. They are now relying on another bill that they and Hobbs support. It would allow the state to oversee water deliveries to these households. If approved, it would go into effect immediately. It's not a permanent solution, but right now, it's the only option left. Is it your last hope? It seems to be. Is it pretty? No, but it is the answer for now, and we need water now. The legislature will reconvene on June 12th. Those living here hoping that bill that would finally bring them water will be approved and signed by Governor Katie Hobbs. We're in the Rio Verde foothills. Chase Golightly, 12 News. Chase, thanks.